would you suggest that when you're raising money, it's you're you're basically raising money? Like you are obviously going to take a little bit of focus mm -hmm. off the the product and doing mm -hmm. work, but for you as a CEO, I mean, that's like a full time job. It is. I mean, and it's hard. You drop some balls. One of the things that I that I pretty much my philosophy and you know use the word funny and collecting money and things like that. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for partners. And every time that I talk with someone as an investor. You know, I'm actually interviewing them as much as they're interviewing yeah. us, and and there are certain people that well, I would say. The crazy thing say, is more so. Like, yeah, founders should more so think that way. Yeah. that's the crazy thing is mm -hmm. they don't. Yeah, and that that's the thing is that you can see who's going to be passionate about it immediately by mm -hmm. the questions they ask, and um, you don't want to be battling with someone who's put money in. You want someone who believes in it and understands the path, yeah. and as a partner in it. You know, partner's a loose term, but I think that we're all in it together, yeah. and. Um, the one thing that's great about you know leveraging the right investors is that they have a network that you can leverage when you need things, yeah. and they're more than willing to help you out. So, with do it. you sense that very quickly? Yeah, you can tell. You can you can walk in a room, and within the first sentence of your pitch, you can tell if you're going to get money or not. Wow. I and mean, that's just like the energy that they're giving off, kind of thing. Like yeah, the you know, leaning forward or leaning. There's, there's back. an exception to every rule, but. Um, it, it's a sale. One of the things that you learn as a salesman, you learn how to read, you know, yeah. the person the person you're selling to, um, and you you manipulate your pitch based off of the energy and their feedback and their mannerisms and all that stuff. So, it's it all applies. It's all the same thing, and um, they do the same thing. They engage with you if you have the passion and the energy. Yeah. They have a different thing. And I and I've gotten feedback. I've gone in to a pitch, and the feedback was, "You seem nervous. You seem flat." Mm -hmm. You know, and I always seem to have some excuse like I ran here or I'm tired or whatever. But um, I didn't eat lunch today. Yeah, <laughs> but um, you you can see it. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 both ways. They they read off they feed yeah. off your energy and vice versa. Yeah, and it, it it's a match ma making thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I really think yeah, you just have to go through enough pitches and enough meetings, and you're going to you're going to find the, the right match and mm -hmm. the right partner. Right. But um, yeah, I think. I think most founders, uh, I think they get nervous. Mm -hmm. I think they put, they hold, they put too much on one meeting, mm -hmm. right? And that's not, the, it's it's about successive meetings right. to the point where like, okay, this this, this makes sense, right. you know, and this works on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I also think they just don't, they probably give up too quickly. Yeah. I see that too.